So what do we do first? Ready to rumble! Hi there, my name is Andrea and this is my friend Andrew. Hi. And this is our fourth year doing our pop culture predictions. You can check out past years on my channel, they'll be linked below. But right now we are going to watch our 2022 pop culture predictions and see what we got right, what we got wrong. I don't think it's gonna be too bad. I think it's gonna be bad. <laughs> We haven't watched this no. all year. We just record it, post it, never think of it again. I think Justin and Hailey Bieber are going to break up. <laughs> They're still together, right? They're still together. My number one is Queen Elizabeth dies. <laughs> Yeah, why did I start with that? <laughs> why would you say that? Oh, Lady Gaga did reschedule. No. Oh, wait, you mean. Oh, you mean we got dates and it happened? Yes. So, now, Taylor's version. Oh. 1999 will come out right before the summer. Oh, I wish that was true. Mm -hmm. is that there will be a deluxe track on 1989 <laughs> Taylor's version featuring Harry Styles and it will break the internet. I yeah. still I need that to happen. It that needs to happen. That's number five. Is that separate from 1989? Yeah. Lee yeah. Spears will do a sit down interview with <gasps> Oprah. Oh my god, I, 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 I had that for this year. <laughs> Well, I have one about Britney Spears too, that she will release a documentary about her experience, mm -hmm. but I like the Oprah interview idea better. Succession sweeps the Emmy Awards. Oh! Yes so and no. Not a full sweep. That'll be exciting. Kim and Kanye will get back together. <gasps> Were they not together at that point? What?! Kristen Stewart will win her first Oscar for Spencer. No, I think they Oscar were not together. No. Oh, you think that movie was that good? <laughs> She got the nomination, but not the win. Uh, Olivia Rodrigo will sweep the Grammy. That feels like yesterday. But she didn't sweep. Who won? <laughs> I don't know. John Batiste. Oh, of course. Harry Styles will release his third studio album. That's true. Yeah? Yeah, that's Harry's house. Oh my yeah. god! That's true. That feels like forever ago. I know. To venture back into acting. Yeah, uh, she did. But at that point, with that TV show, but she already had it at that point. Oh yeah, you yeah. just said it. But did she do more? No, no. Was a she did a documentary. We wanna... That's not that's I'm not that. Yeah. Avatar <laughs> two will finally come out. Yeah. Ah! Good job, Andrew. Oh. Yeah, actually, be good. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Both are true. <laughs> Both are true on all accounts. Yeah. Lizzo is gonna release an album. This yes. Thank God. The X Men will be introduced into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That's particularly probably in Doctor Strange. That actually is true. <laughs> but that is true. Tom Brady's gonna retire this year. Did he retire? <laughs> wait, did he come back though? Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so wait, should I look it up before we move on? Yeah. 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 Okay, Tom Brady, did he retire? Ask Siri. This is embarrassing. <laughs> I don't know if he actually retired. The Buccaneers quarterback Tom Brady retired. Four, Forty days later, he returned. Are you sure? I haven't seen him on the TV at all. You know what? <laughs> how do, how do Should I, I call Shannon? Is Tom Brady currently playing? Yeah. What? Oh my God! Thank God she picked up. <laughs> we need you. He technically retired, then came out of retirement. Is he currently Does on he the, on the field? He's, he plays for Tampa. Like right, like right now, like if I turn on the TV, he would be playing. Correct. Oh. Sorry. So, but he did retire for he a bit. Did, so, is it right? Retire. I'm gonna say we I'm got it right. It's right. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna count Tom Brady retiring as yes. I think if it happened, it, it which counts. it did. Yeah. Those days of movies being released in the theaters and streaming are no more. Mm -hmm. That era is over. What we're looking at now is movies are going to theaters first, yeah, but then going true. on streaming within a shorter window. Of exactly. About, that's uh, true. That I guess. is true. Yeah. That is true. Hannah Montana, we're gonna read this. Oh! That's funny. Yeah. No. no. My babies, Tom Holland and Zendaya, will get engaged. Oh, no, <laughs> but they're still together, so I'll take it as a win. <laughs> I think Chris and Adam is it over? No. No, but she's, but she's gone. That, that awful woman's gone. My other bag, Andrew Garfield, will return to Broadway. Mm -hmm. he no, he didn't. Star. I didn't have any Broadway ones. That's the only Broadway uh, yeah, I, I don't have any this year. Me either. 
That was okay. Awful. We got eight out of twenty-two right. Okay, which I don't think good. is that bad. No, that's like almost a third. That's over a third of it. Yeah, we did pretty good for us. I wonder how many we'll get right this year. I was year. hoping for like half. Yeah. These are our 2023 pop culture predictions. I'm gonna go first. Okay. And I am so excited about this one. My first prediction is that Renee Rapp is gonna be the it girl this year. Oh, absolutely. She, that is, that's our girl. Even if it's a little bit niche, still, She's the I think it's girl. still gonna be correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, watch out world. <laughs> She's coming through. I love that girl. Okay. Why are you laughing? I don't know, I didn't have it. <laughs> <laughs> My first one is that Dua Lipa starts her follow up to feature Nostalgia Era. <gasps> God. Yeah. Do you think time. it'll flop? No. Okay. I think... Because that was such a good era. I don't think in terms of her statistics, we might see another album that has like that many like hits, but she has so many options mm -hmm. and future collaborators. I don't think we're going to see a period of time where like she's not at least like relevant. I think this year, Shawn Mendes is going to get married. No, <laughs> don't. I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> but I think he's gonna get married. To Jesus. To Jesus. Olivia Rodrigo new album. Oh. Do you have that? No, but I have <laughs> one that can go off of that. Okay, that yeah. has to happen this year. I went back and forth, and like for Dua, I'm specifically predicting start of new era. For Olivia, I'm predicting full album. Full album. I see that happening. She's due. I'm nervous, Andrew. Not that I'm doubting her, but you know, sophomore albums tend to go down the drain and that just cannot happen to my girl Olivia. What's the prediction though? Oh, my prediction <laughs> to go along with that, which was actually my next one, is I think Olivia Rodrigo is going to have a major hair transformation. Oh. She's either gonna <laughs> chop it or go bangs? blonde. Does she have bangs? She has like curtain bangs sometimes, but- Like a Billie Eilish but I think thing? like, some, she has to switch it up. Highlights, like. Okay, I see it. I know I see it. Something's gonna happen with Olivia Rodrigo's hair. I see it. <laughs> My next one is, which I think I had last year, was Speak Now Taylor Jordan. Yeah. I guess while we're here, <laughs> we should share. Do you think Taylor is going to release all her albums, re releases before tour? No. I, I actually. I don't think so either. I actually, if I had to put money down, think the opposite. I would almost say she might not do a real release ever again. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. honestly think it's more likely for some kind of money settlement purchase to be made than it is for her to finish all of them with still that but many to go. Don't you think they're making money off of these re-releases? I mean, I've spent... A lot of money no, yeah. on these re-releases. No, yeah, it's not something that I don't necessarily yeah. want, but at this point... And then she can be free to create whatever she wants, I guess. My next prediction is, and I don't want this to happen, Okay. but I think Megan Trainer and Chris Olsen are going to have a friendship breakup. That's actually so funny. I almost had a Megan Trainer one, but really? I, could, I couldn't <laughs> decide what I wanted to do with her. Yeah, <laughs> I just, I don't know. That friendship, I don't know. I love them. I don't follow him at all. I and really like him. He keeps popping up. I yeah. actually almost blocked him. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, not even that he's done anything bad to me, but it's like, enough. Like... <laughs> It's almost like a social climber situation. It's like yeah. no person can like, be this friendly to everyone. Friends with Renee Rapp. No person. Yeah, that, that was that, the one that almost yeah. did me in. Another Gilmore Girls revival event will be announced. They already did one back in, I think, 2017, 2016. And it was like the four episode revival. I think like an another event for the Gilmore Girls cast is likely, it's still relevant, okay. there's still interest there, mm. um, and there's still like a continuing story to it be. It seems on talk, to. like there's a lot of talk around Gilmore Girls. Yeah, and when they did the like little revival the first time, that was even before like the current like revival boom. So I think there's an opportunity to do like some kind of special or another addition to that. Are you a Gilmore girl? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> My next one is Dylan Mulvaney will get her own TV show. Oh, is that a TikToker? Yes. Mm -hmm. The blank days of girlhood. Yeah. She needs her own show. Stat. I want to watch like her. Like what kind uh, of like, like a, a morning like show? Like a reality? Like, or yes. No, no, no. Oh. Like a talk show. 
Okay. I just think she spreads so much positivity yeah. into the world and I would literally tune in every single day. Yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio arrested. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I have no reasoning for it. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. And I'm sad. Blake Lively will be in Taylor Swift's new film. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that would be cool, you know? Mm -hmm. Maybe like her and Ryan play like parents and it's about their children. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm getting on hitch, but that's I think likely. Blake Lively could be cast enough. That no, that's movie. likely. Yeah, Tony me. Bennett dies. <gasps> Andrew! <laughs> How dare you say that? <laughs> All I can think about is Lady Gaga! Oh my god, I hope that does not come true. My next one. I have no ill intention, unlike <laughs> you. <laughs> that was my only death. Um, I think <laughs> Sam Hunt is gonna get himself canceled. The country? Yeah. yeah. Every couple years, he like just does something mm. that you're like, ooh. <laughs> and I really like Sam Hunt and his music, is but- he, Has he been? He has some questionable behavior. So I think if he's gonna officially get canceled, okay. unfortunately. Like officially. I think his time's up, yeah. Okay, I can piggyback off that <clears throat> because one of mine was like another cancellation era, okay. but it's for Trader Joe's. What? <laughs> um, I, I, I love my Trader Joe's. I just, I foresee like something mm -hmm. like happening. Oh, like a controversy? Yeah, happening okay. there. Like some kind of like problematic behavior either behind the scenes or like with the food itself. I have no idea. I don't know. I'm all for them. But we love you, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> if the NFL knows what they're doing right, they will have SZA sing the national anthem. Oh. Okay. I think that would that would be great. Yeah. She's in the press right now. We all mm -hmm. want to hear her. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. At the Super Bowl. Okay. Did I clarify that? I don't know. I, that's what I assume. That's the only time I'd be watching. <laughs> <laughs> the national anthem at the Super Bowl. Oh <laughs> it's like the Sunday's game. <laughs> <laughs> With Tom Brady. Twitter goes down for at least 24 hours. I don't think we're ever going to see it like go away. Obviously there's a lot of drama with it right now and the ownership. In order for me to be correct, it needs to be for at least 24 hours. Yep. Like not just like yeah. a couple hours yeah. in a day where like Instagram is down. You know what? Like I'm that. just gonna put it out there. Like I think Elon should step down yeah. and we run it. I think you and I mm -hmm. could really run that. <laughs> I think so too. I think we'd do a really good job, yeah. actually. Okay, my next one I predicted last year, and I'm gonna reuse it. Okay. Grey's Anatomy. Done. See ya. Now Bye. Meredith Grey is leaving. They're gonna realize none of the OGs are here besides Bailey. Mm -hmm. And Webster, is he still even on? I don't know. I don't know. The current season are on. Yeah. Are you saying, like, do you think that's the last? <clears throat> or will, like, No, they're gonna say... announce that. Okay, end. so the next yeah. one... They're Starting gonna be like, fall, mm, no be new season, we're done. Okay. At some point in the year, mm -hmm. there's going to be a Billie Eilish notes app apology. Oh, not Billie. <laughs> I don't know what she does or has to apologize for, but I completely foresee a apology of some sort coming from her end. She's such a little angel. I don't want her to deal with any of that. I think... A cooler, better version of Be Real is going to be created. So a completely different app or an upgraded version of the app? It's gonna be different. I think Instagram is gonna take it and run with it. Fully buy it? No, I think Instagram will add that as a feature like onto their, there? yeah, yeah. Just like they took the Snapchat stories? Yep, just like that, Andrew. My next one, my second to last, is that there's going to be a massive product recall on Lady Gaga's house labs. <laughs> oh my god, you're really trying to just like... I don't think any... I don't know. That is so sad. I just think... Not our girl. No, like, imagine like there's something wrong. Yeah, like, out of her control. Like a, li like a lipstick. Yeah, and like, like a recall. And like they, they, need, they need to recall it, yeah. That's pretty A plus specific. with creativity. I think Leah Michelle is going to release a book. That's my next one. No! <laughs> no. I, I kid you not. And not not like her little journal. 
like a book, no, like I'm, an autobiography or something. That's my last one, but it's children's book. Um, <laughs> that would be so funny. My, she releases a book that teaches kids how to read. My last one is Lisa <laughs> Michelle writes a children's book. <laughs> this, uh, I'm so mad you said first. My backup is Barbie being the highest grossing movie of the year. I, I see that happening because it's going to reach all ages. Exactly. Yeah. I almost went with a Super Mario Brothers movie, but there's yeah. more online. More talk about Barbie in online. In our age group. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so that's my, that's my, that's it. That's yours. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring us in 23. <clears throat> I say this with my full chest. <laughs> we are going to meet Taylor Swift this year. Uh-huh. Don't you think? Oh yes. And Grace and Anna is gonna be canceled. If there was a year, it's this year. No, it is true. There hasn't really been much opportunity to in the past three or so years. So now or never. There is no one who wants it more than these two people. <laughs> okay, well thank you for watching this video. I guess time will tell how many we got right. <laughs> yeah. Is that your final word? Yep. <laughs> Bye.